Welcome to this free GNS3 lab for the CCNA. Once again, because Packet Tracer doesn't support all of the features necessary for CCNA studies, I have chosen to do this lab in GNS3 rather than just skip the topic. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. However, you will also need the Cisco iOS image to use for these routers. I will include the name of the iOS image I used in the description. However, I cannot legally distribute the file itself. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this, and share these videos with anyone else studying for the CCNA. In this short lab, we will look at IPSLA. SLA stands for Service Level Agreement. What is an SLA? It's an agreement between a service provider and a client. For example, a guarantee of latency or internet speed. You can configure various IP SLA operations in Cisco IOS. However, for the CCNA, you just have to be familiar with the ICMP echo operation, aka ping. The ICMP echo operation sends pings at regular intervals and keeps account of how many succeed and how many fail. Let's get started. Let's hop on R1. I will configure the ICMP echo operation to send pings to R2. Conf T. Use the following command, IPSLA, followed by the operation number. You can configure multiple IPSLA operations on the same device, so a number is necessary to identify them. I'll use one, and then there are no more options. Now I'm in IPSLA configuration mode. Let's check the options. As you can see, there are various kinds of operations that we can use. Let's configure an ICMP echo operation, and then enter the destination address of 12.0.0.2. Okay, now I'm brought into IPSLA echo configuration mode. Again, there are plenty of options here, but let's just specify the frequency which is how often the pings will be sent to R2. The instructions say to use a frequency of 5, so frequency 5. That's it. Now we have to schedule the operation. That is done in global configuration mode. Exit. Once again, the command starts with IPSLA, this time followed by schedule and the operation number 1. Next, let's specify the start time. We could configure it to start after 10 minutes, for example, or start at a specific time, like 12 o'clock, for example. But let's schedule it to start now. Next, let's specify the life, which is how long we want the operation to continue. The instructions say to schedule it to continue until manually stopped, so let's use the forever option. R1 will continue sending pings forever until we remove the configuration. Okay, that's all there is to the configuration. There are two main parts, configuring the operation and scheduling the operation. Let's confirm our configuration. Exit, show IP SLA configuration. There's entry number one, its type is ICMP echo, and there's the target of 12.0.0.2. Also frequency of five, start time already passed since we configured start time now, and also life forever. Now let's check the IPSLA statistics to see how many pings were successful. Show IPSLA statistics. There's the number of successes. And if I wait for a few seconds and then enter the command again, the number should increase. Show IP SLA statistics. There, you can see that the number has increased because pings are being sent every five seconds. Also, notice the latest RTT up here. That's the latest round trip time. 
which is how long the ping took to go to R2 and come back. Now let's shut down R2's G00 interface, and then the number of failures should start increasing. Conf T, interface G00, shut down. Now let's go back on R1. I'll wait 10 seconds or so to let a few pings be sent. Okay, let's check. Show IP SLA statistics. As you can see, the number of failures has started increasing, and the latest RTT indicates no connection, busy, or timeout. Let's enable R2's G00 interface now. No shutdown. Okay, now I'll wait 10 seconds or so again to let a few more pings be sent from R1 to R2. Okay, now let's check the IP SLA statistics once more on R1. The number of successes should have increased, and we should see a normal latest RTT value. Show IP SLA statistics. There we go. The pings are working again. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. There are only a few more labs left in my CCNA series, but please subscribe to catch my next project. If you want to support my channel, I accept cryptocurrency donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT, or Basic Attention Token, donations in the Brave browser.